Have you noticed that you're losing flexibility and your joints are becoming stiff and achy? Keep watching and I will show you how to warm up your joints and how to increase your flexibility so you can enjoy your life pain free. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva Venas of painfreeforlifepilaris.com located in San Diego, California. Here on YouTube, I share weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to increase your strength, flexibility and mobility. In today's video, I'm going to show you five of my favorite stretches that will help you fight aging and stiffness in the body and in the joints. Um, also, I will highlight some of the most common mistakes that you could be making while you're stretching. And at the end of the video, I will tell you about my on-demand stretching and mobility home program. So be sure to stay with me till the very end. First a stretching exercise is what I call hip priming. So uh, come up in a half kneeling position. Elongate your spine, shift your hip forward for a nice deep stretch in your hip flexors. And then lean forward a little bit from your waistline and elongate the back of the left leg for a hamstring stretch. Rock forward, drop that right hip forward, squeeze the right butt so you get a deeper stretch in the front of your hip. And then push your hip back and elongate the back of the hamstring, back of the leg. Now be sure not to round your back. That will take away from the stretching and it will defeat the purpose. So you gotta stay nice and straight in your spine. Let's do this one more time. Drop that hip forward. Mm, then push your hips back. Okay, we're gonna change the legs. So now mm, the right foot is going forward and you wanna drop your left hip forward. Be sure to engage your core and keep your back nice and elongated. Mm, then push back your right sit bone and open up the back of your leg. Um, don't worry about fully straightening your knee. You can if you're really flexible, but you don't have to. Uh, keep it bent, lift your sit bone, keep your spine straight. Mm, then drop forward in the left hip, squeezing the left buttock area and push back the right hip, elongating, opening up the hamstrings. Let's do this one more time. A really nice deep stretch in the front and in the back of the hip. Then we're gonna turn to the side and now we are opening up the inner thigh and groin area. Just put your hands on your hips, just level out your hips, rock forward, push back your sit bones, open up the inner thigh. You guys wouldn't believe how many people suffer from chronic lower back pain and hip pain just because their inner thighs are tight. So that's an area to pay attention to. If you have to sit too much during the day. Let's do one more. Okay, now we're gonna bring that foot a little bit in and shift your weight towards that leg. We are still working on inner thigh flexibility and mobility, but also we are increasing ankle mobility by pushing our knee forward, keeping the heel down. You should feel a nice stretch in the lower part of your calf, above your ankle, very important stretch. On a regular basis, now let's switch sides, put your other leg to the side and just rock forward. Nice deep stretch for the groin for the inner thigh, those muscles attach on the bottom of your pelvis. And if they are tight, they're gonna drag down on your pelvis, they're gonna pull on your SI joint. So if you have sciatica, if you have lower back pain, tight inner thigh muscles are a major contributor. Turn out your leg, bring your foot in, and shift your weight towards that leg, not only opening up the groin, but also mobilizing the ankle, just like on the other side. When you're tight down here in the lower part of your calf, above your ankle, then oftentimes the knee takes up 
the beating uh, for the lack of ankle mobility. So in order to save your knees on the long run, you got to do this ankle mobility exercise, warming up, creating more mobility in the ankles than you had before. Um, piriformis stretch. Tight piriformis muscles, the deep hip rotator muscles, are a very common cause of lower back pain, hip pain, sciatica. So just cross your right foot over your left knee, hold on to the back of your left leg. Now, if this knee is really coming in towards your body, try and push it away. If you can't, lower your legs a little bit more. So our goal is to open up that knee, be sure this hip is not hiking up. So just hold the stretch and open up those hip rotator muscles. Make sure to repeat on the second side as well. Hold on to the back of your thigh and try and keep your shoulders and your neck nice and relaxed for the duration of the stretch. Okay, you can let it go. Um, next stretch um, is going to be a thread the needle. So just bring your knees nice and open, bring your big toes to touch and just thread your left arm under the right shoulder. As we age, we tend to lose flexibility in our thoracic spine. Having good flexibility, good mobility in the thoracic spine will really help out your neck, your shoulders, your lower back. So this is a super important stretch and mobility exercise that you want to do regularly. Um, another way to increase mobility in your spine is doing a supine spine twist. So you're just going to lay down on your back, open your arms to the side, cross your left leg over the right, and just drop your knees towards the left. And look away from your knees, look towards your right. So you're almost corkscrewing the spine, you're turning the lower part of the spine to the left and the top part of the spine to the right, uh, ringing it out, mobilizing those spinal segments. Come on out of your stretch, let's do it on the other side. Um, drop the knees to the right and look to the left. Try and keep both of your shoulders on the mat. If crossing over is too much for some reason, then just uncross and you can do it without it as well. And let's finish with a nice side body stretch. In Pilates, this is called the Mermaid and it's one of my favorite stretches. You might have seen it in uh, some of my other videos as well. So you just want to fold up your legs in this Z position, put your hand down to support yourself and reach over your head. Uh, reach as far as you can. Now be sure not to let your head hang forward. So just draw in the forehead and the chin. Keep your ears between your shoulders. Circle your arm around. Give that thoracic spine a nice mobility drill. Now here comes the best part guys. You're going to put both of your hands on your mat. Walk your hands out nice and far and at this point you should feel a delicious stretch between your hip and your thoracic spine. And this feels so good that we can skip the other side so let's fold up the legs the other way. Uh, put your hand down, reach over your head, make sure your head stays stable between your shoulders Mm, then let's start that rotation with the arm. Be sure to look towards your moving arm. So many people have stick, stiff neck. Make sure that you're turning your head, looking towards your arm. That will help mobilize your neck as well. And you can put both of your hands down again. 
and just open up the lower back, the middle back, the upper back. If you do these stretches regularly, they will save you from so many aches and pains later on in life. Also, if you like these exercises, this is a really good time to give the video a like. Feel free to um, add your comments in the comments section. Also, if there's any topic that you would like me to cover, feel free to um, submit that in the comments section. If you enjoyed these exercises and you would like a complete stretching and mobility protocol, all you have to do is visit my website www.painfreeforlifepilaris.com click on the shop tab and choose the stretching and mobility home program. It's an on-demand program, so you can start it, you can play it anytime, um, whenever you feel the need. It contains uh, about 50 uh, wonderful stretching and mobility exercises that should uh, make you feel really, really good in your body. If you would like to work with me because you feel like you need more personalized attention and guidance, uh, visit my website and schedule a free 15-minute phone consultation so we can get things going. Uh, be sure to check out the next video that's coming up in a few seconds and for more great tips on how to eliminate chronic pain in your body and how to increase your strength, flexibility and mobility, go back to my main page and check out my playlist.